In the forests of Europe, a remarkable bird of prey glides silently between the trees. With long, elegant wings and a slender head, it seems unassuming at first glance. But this is no ordinary raptor. This is the honey buzzard, a master of migration and a specialist in one of nature's most unusual diets. The honey buzzard, known as Pernis apivorus, lives throughout Europe and Western Asia. Every year, it leaves its breeding grounds and travels thousands of kilometers to sub-Saharan Africa. This remarkable journey shows what it truly means to be a migrant. At first glance, one might mistake the honey buzzard for the common buzzard. However, upon closer inspection, the differences quickly become apparent. Its head is narrower, its wings longer, and its tail finely barred. Even its bill is different, smaller, more delicate, an adaptation not for tearing flesh, but for something altogether unexpected. Unlike other birds of prey, the honey buzzard has a taste for insects, setting it apart from its relatives. Its primary food is not rabbits or voles, but wasp larvae. With strong talons, it digs into underground nests, exposing the combs within. Its feathers and skin are specially adapted, offering protection from stings. Even its face is scaled to withstand attack. Few predators dare to challenge the sting of a wasp, but the honey buzzard thrives upon it. This bird chooses its home carefully. Mature woodlands, rich in insect life, provide the ideal conditions. Tall trees offer nesting sites, while clearings and forest edges conceal the underground lairs of wasps. From the cool forests of Scandinavia to the temperate woods of Central Europe, the honey buzzard makes its living where others cannot. In late spring, the honey buzzards return to their breeding grounds. A pair builds a nest high in the canopy, lining it with fresh green leaves. The female lays a small clutch, often just two eggs. For over a month, both parents take turns incubating. When the chicks hatch, they are fed a diet almost entirely of wasp brood. After several weeks, the young fledge, embarking on their first great journey across continents, during migration, they funnel through narrow corridors, mountain passes, and coastal straits. Here, they soar effortlessly, carried by thermals, conserving energy for the long road ahead. These journeys are perilous, yet awe-inspiring. Measuring around 55 centimeters in length, with a wingspan stretching up to one and a half meters, the honey buzzard is perfectly built for soaring. A female may weigh just over a kilogram, the male somewhat less. Its physique is the product of millennia of adaptation to a life between forest and sky. Though adults face few threats in the wild, their nests are not always safe. Eggs and chicks may fall prey to opportunists, crows, martens, or even larger hawks. For young buzzards, survival is never guaranteed. Today, the honey buzzard is considered of least concern globally, but danger lurks, particularly during migration. Illegal hunting claims many lives. The destruction of forests erodes their habitat including their nesting grounds, and pesticides threaten the wasps on which it depends. Wind turbines, too, pose a growing risk to this aerial voyager. And yet where laws are enforced, where forests are preserved, the honey buzzard endures. It remains a symbol of resilience, a specialist thriving on a food most creatures shun. As long as the forests of Europe echo with the hum of wasps, the honey buzzard will soar, 
a living testament to the wonders of evolution. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit us again as we explore the wonders of nature around us. If you enjoy our channel, consider becoming a member. In addition to other benefits, you will receive exclusive access to videos before they are released to the public.